New tonight, August is Immunization Awareness Month, and health officials are urging parents to make sure their children are caught up on vaccines. NBC 5's Madison LeBurge is live in studio with the dangerous trend doctors say they're seeing. Madison? Both OHA officials and a local doctor say Oregon children are behind on their immunizations for multiple reasons, but they say it's even more important than ever to make sure your children are properly vaccinated. Due to the pandemic, we've seen decreases in vaccination rates here in Oregon. Health officials with OHA and Jackson County Public Health say they're seeing a trend of kids falling behind on vaccines. They say there are many reasons. Some clinics were closed at the start of the pandemic and... Parents may understandably be nervous about taking their kids uh, to a doctor's office right now. While Dr. Jim Shames has been encouraging limited interaction throughout the pandemic, he doesn't recommend skipping out on the doctor. You can't do a virtual immunization. It has to be an in-person visit. And now, you know, putting that off means that their kids are behind in the immunization schedule. Dr. Shames says when parents delay childhood vaccinations, they're taking a risk. There are some diseases that are kind of always with us in a small degree. Pertussis, measles, and mumps are just a few of the diseases that can easily spread through a community if people don't have their immunizations. We saw outbreaks of measles last year, and so it's really important that we all do what we can do to prevent the diseases that we can prevent. The flu vaccine is getting the biggest push from health officials this year. Both flu and COVID are respiratory viruses, so we definitely don't want people getting both at once. They say everyone six months old and older should get the flu vaccine. If you aren't sure if your child is up to date on their vaccination, you can contact your pediatrician if you're an established patient. If not, you can call 211 to locate the vaccination records. Live in studio, Madison LaBerge, NBC5 News.